Greetings and thank you for the opportunity to come to you today and spend these few moments with you. This week we are learning about the gift of prophecy. We are learning how to release the gift of prophecy or how to prophesy. Now, like we said yesterday in the introduction, uh, all believers can desire to prophesy. The Apostle Paul instructed us, covet the best gifts. The best gift is the gift that is appropriate for the situation. So if you find, if there's somebody who needs healing, then the best gift is the gifts of healing. If somebody's in a very difficult situation, they need a miracle, then the best gift to design at that moment is the gifts of the working miracles. Uh, if somebody is trying to find a solution to a problem, the best gift at that moment is the gift of the word of wisdom to find a solution to that problem. If somebody needs encouragement, somebody needs direction, need a word from God, the best gift at that moment is the gift of prophecy. So the Bible is telling us to desire the best gifts. And so as you are ministering to people, you recognize that you're in a, need, you're in a situation where you can really bless somebody through the gift of prophecy. So the next step is to pray and ask God for a prophetic word. See, when you're desiring it, whom are you going to desire from? You're going to desire it from the giver. That means you're going to go before the giver, which is the, the Holy Spirit himself, and tell him, God, dear Spirit of God, I desire, give me a word for this person. Give me a prophetic word. And remember, the prophetic word doesn't have to be some major predictive foretelling. It could be a simple word of encouragement. First Corinthians 14 and verse 3 says, He who prophesies speaks edification, exhortation, and comfort to man. So that's what prophecy is. It's an inspired word from God that will bring edification, building up, exhortation, that is encouragement, and comfort, which is a strengthening to the person. So that's all it is. Prophecy is simply bringing an inspired word from God that will bring building up, encouragement and strength into somebody's life. It doesn't always have to be predictive in nature. It doesn't always have to be foretelling or revealing. It doesn't have to have all those elements. It could have. But remember, uh, the first step is to ask God, ask the giver of the gift, saying, Dear Lord, I pray that you give me a word for this person. Give me a prophetic word. Give me a prophecy. Give me a word. What are you saying? that will bring encouragement to this person. So desire the best, desire a prophetic word, a, a word that will bring encouragement, edification and exhortation to that person. That's how, that's the first step to get started. We'll continue this tomorrow. Let's pray. Father, we pray and ask, Lord, that you will stir up our desire for spiritual gifts and that our desire or the gift of prophecy will be stirred up so that we could hear from you and bring words of edification, exhortation, and comfort to those around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.